Hello everyone, welcome to our first tutorial video. Hello everyone, I'm Crystal. I am the new HyperPad marketing coordinator for fall 2020. I joined HyperPad because I was really interested in their software since you didn't need to know code in order to develop high quality apps or stories. Um, as an environment and business student, this is like way out of my comfort zone, but um, I still managed to make a short game in minutes um, after learning about it. I really enjoy solving puzzles and creating things, so this was like an interesting new way to practice um, a hobby that I really like. So I had this really cool idea that HyperPad could be used to custom apps for friends and family as gifts. Um, I think it'd be really fun um, to create a, a game or interactive story for someone that you care about and it'll be kind of cute to put their face or little inside jokes um, in a game. Um, other than that, um, I think that it was also a sweet way to show someone that you really care for them and they can also carry it around in your pocket as an app. Uh, for example, I'm currently working on creating a short game for my sister. Um, I think it'd be really fun to make a custom game that she can always remember even after she grows up. Um, I think this beats making a card that will probably be kept in a shoebox collecting dust. Uh, and it also takes about the same time and effort and at least this way you learn uh, a new skill. For this October, I started this hashtag Spooktober2020 right here, um, to, just to have some fun. I wanted to get everyone to join and, and like, try out HyperPad, you know, just to see what you can make. Um, it's also a really fun way to teach someone game development as well as other skills like problem solving, creativity, and logic thinking, which I think is really important in, in today's world. Um, Winning a game is one thing, but to be able to create one, I think it's another really satisfying experience. Uh, you really learn a lot and um, it, it's an awesome thing. Like you can tell someone, I made this game. So yeah, I hope everyone takes the time out of your day to try out the app or join the competition. Thanks. Now that that's done, um, I just want to have a quick tutorial for all those new uh, new beginners and new us users who, like me, started out with no idea what they're doing. And I found that um, being able to watch someone do it really helped me learn. So I'm going to start with a really brief tutorial on how to insert a background, um, put characters in, and start with a really basic game. And from there, you can kind of figure it out on your own and explore. Okay, so we're gonna name the new project test one, uh, and then you set the orientation uh, to whoever you see fit, and you also create a gravity that you think works for you. So this is all um, in the beginning when you first download the app, and then the project loads. So now it's a blank screen, and what you wanna do is you wanna get assets to um, put in to the project. So we're going to get the basic ones since we're going to start with a simple game. These are all pre-done. You're going to get a digital sound and you're going to get the basic starter pack. Um, as you get better at this, you can start to create your own and upload it. That'll be in another tutorial, but for now we're just going to use the basics. And then um, what are you going to do from there is you're going to find the background, right? So here is the screen, what's gonna look like, and you're gonna go scene settings and click on background. And yeah, you pick one of three, and you fill it however, um, whatever is comfortable for you. And that's about it, yeah, you got your background. So now we're moving on um, to adding a character into the game. There we go, we select um, the character and then we add some blocks to it. Um, we're gonna pick a simple middle and a side. So now you just drag it onto the screen and then you can enlarge it as big as you want or as small as you want. And look at this, it turns. Yeah, anyhow you want, anything you want is possible.
and we're gonna and then after you're done with that we're gonna move on to uh, adding the blocks so now you add in this grid lock it helps um, make things easier to see and it makes it neater you know so now we're adding the blocks and you can copy and paste it so that one doing that's easier it makes it more standardized and you can move it um, and place it however you, you want now it's got a platform as you can see and i'm trying to adjust the little guy let's call him bob so bob's just hanging there now and we're gonna go into his behavior so you're gonna go to controls the purple one and you're gonna add a joystick so now bob can go left and he can go right yay look at bob he's so happy and that's that's done. Now we're gonna move on to adding more controls for him. So now joystick goes left and joystick goes right. We're gonna drag it and put it there in the control section. And we're gonna add in play animation. So just draw a line, connect it together. See, it's stuck together now. Yay. And we're going to go and add in another drawing of Bob with him walking. Going to put that there and put the speed to something a bit slower so you can see it nice and slow. There we go. See him jumping in the corner. I mean, not jumping. He's walking, but you know, he's zooming. There we go. Look, Bob's walking. He's not gliding anymore. And now we have to add another button for Bob to make him jump. So we just drag jump with button and ta-da, he's jumping. Yay, Bob. And finally, we're gonna add some coins to um, let Bob have some fun. And then this is going to be a bit long, so sit tight. You're going to add in the collision. So, you know, when he collides, and you have to click Bob. So make sure when Bob collides with the coin, that's what happens. And then you're going to destroy. So Bob's going to destroy um, the coin when he runs into it. And we're going to make some cool sounds. So the digital package you selected earlier, there's like a bunch of it there so you can preview all of them or you can just pick a random one like I did and use that. Uh, and then you connect it to the collided. So these are all the behaviors that are that Bob's going to go through when he quote unquote destroys that coin. There we go. There we see! Yay. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, you'll stick around for the next one next week. And um, do leave any comments or feedback in the comments below. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see more of or less of and um, we can try and do that for you. Um, this tutorial is really um, just for, to, for the benefit of everyone to learn and um, get to know what Hyperpad can do. Thank you!